Hello and welcome back to this second video about work sharing in Revit 2012. In the last video I showed you this small model explaining that when working with work sharing you're normally placing a central file <coughs> on a file server and we are saving uh, local files locally on our C drives for the individual users. And work sharing uh, enables us to have a relationship between the central and local uh, saved files and making sure that they all the time are synchronized um, so all users will see the latest updated version of the project. There are many solutions of how to set up uh, your file server. Uh, lately there are also newer versions from uh, Revit server, um, something called BIM server, solutions from a company called Riverbed. Uh, I don't have experience with them, but lately uh, some of my students have been testing um, the program Dropbox, which is uh, basically a file sharing program. Um, and I'll just shortly explain a little bit about uh, their experiences. When setting it up, it's very important, first of all, to make sure that all group members have the same version of Dropbox installs. In this case, I have uh, version 1.2.52 installed. And the second thing you want to make sure is that when going to preferences, you want to make sure that all group members have that Dropbox location placed under the C drive or in the root of the C drive. If that's not the case, you're able to move it, um, for instance, from a specific user to the C drive. When that's being done, you want to make sure that um, your Dropbox folder is being set up correctly and I recommend that you are creating uh, folders for central and local files similar to what we did in video one. And in here you're saving of course a central file and in the local files you're saving um, or each individual user are saving their local file. When that's the case, it should um, function, but I hope that this um, video will um, inspire you to test it out yourself and also give us feedback on uh, uh, what your experiences are. I'll end for now, but I'm looking forward to see you back on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.